Good morning and welcome to today's episode of the Bomber News Network. And we'd like to wish Mr. Kerr a happy birthday from yesterday. Happy birthday. The forecast for today is sunny with a high of 66 degrees and a low of 37. You got to move it up, girl. I got a big camera in my way. Lunch today is pork roast, gravy, mashed taties, corn, spiced apples, and roll. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Mm -hmm. Attention seniors, please remember to pick up your senior proofs page in your advisory beginning today. Follow the directions on the page to view and or purchase your photos. If you have questions, please stop by the front office. Now listen, it's my turn to speak. Come on. And you just got the no, fonts no, small. No, it's right there. Go. Okay, let's go, see. Girl. Tutoring Boo-boo. opportunities. Mm-hmm. Wednesday, you can go to math tutoring at 7.15 a.m. in room 716 with Mr. Rucker. Mm-hmm. Tuesday, you can go to science from 3.30 to 4.30 in room 711. Is that 7-Eleven in that, like where you go get a Coke or something? Oh, no, that's Miss Birkenstocks. A slushy. That's Mrs. Birkenstocks, and that starts on the 20th of October. And then on Tuesday, in room 209 for social studies after school, and Thursday's room 405 after school. And then for Wednesday, you can go get English tutoring from 3.30 to 4.30 with Mrs. Rogers in room 204. That sounds fun. Lots of tutoring opportunities. Hey, you can always come by my room Monday through Thursday about 7.15 a.m. I'll be in there. Mm -hmm. Come on down. I'll Mm -hmm. talk some math Mm -hmm. with you. 7.35 for me, but whatever. Okay. All right. So the ASVAB will be given on October 22nd in Dunbar. Sign up in the office or email Mrs. Russell. The test is free and available to any 10th through 12th grade student considering a career in the military after graduation. Hey, it's not too late to sign up for the FBLA Virtual 5K. Please see Mrs. Smith for more details. All right, y'all. It's week two of the College Application Campaign Month. This week we had 34, 34, 30, 34 34 students who applied and were in the running. These students fully applied to college and requested their transcripts as of October 14th, 2020. The names were drawn at random, and the winners are Harrison Bullard, who applied to ASUMH, Rep, who applied to UCA, and Caitlin Miller, who also applied to ASUMH. Two of those are in my advisory PS. The winners can pick up their prizes in the College and Career Coach's office in room 408. And remember that at the end of the month, all students who have applied to college will go into the drawing for the laptop computer donated by Eaton Corporation. That's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Okay, now we have our second college Ooh. trivia question. Mm-hmm. What college is the second oldest in the United States? Please submit answers to the college trivia form week two. It is uploaded in your Canvas classrooms now. This is for all classes, sophomores, juniors, and seniors. The first student to answer it correctly will earn a prize. Good luck. Do you know they've already got the answer by now? Because these kids are all on their phones. Mm -hmm. Also, don't forget to wear your favorite college gear colors every Thursday. I have mine on. Here it is. Oh, wait, congratulations to last week's winners who received their prizes. Mm -hmm. Senior Victoria Bevel was the first to answer it correctly. Our junior was Lucas Spurlock and sophomore Dalen Stevens. I hope I said that right. The answer was UC Berkeley has yeah, on the periodic table named after it. Sorry, Mr. Ingle. Also, we already said that about okay. wearing your college gear. Come see me. I oh have my gosh, my it's disease. now time for sport. What? Woo! Sport time. Hey, Brody, does does your head hurt from Friday night? Oh my gosh. Listen, I was going to block the punt. Yeah. But I really wasn't supposed to. Okay. But then my helmet got in the way. Boom. And let me tell you. Tell me. I feel like that it changed the whole direction of the game. I think it did. We were like B second quarter. Second what? quarter. No, we were like beast second beast. half. Okay. Beast. Okay. Second okay. half of the football game. Mm-hmm. I mean, it was like crazy yeah. fun out there on the field. I know. Fans were crazy. Yeah. We were crazy. Yeah, we were. 
And we took Van Buren and just mowed right over mm -hmm, We did. So it was great. Yep. But, you know, it's kind of hard. I mean, I'm just a junior, Brody Patterson. and But you're doing great. But Bryce McKay. What? I mean, what? like, gosh. What? I'm seeing it on my phone, like, Arkansas Democrat Gazette Player of the Week. You know. Just doing, just doing my thing. Just Hot. Doing my thing. I know. So I am just telling you that you just keep being Mr. Athlete, okay. Mr. Superman. Captain America. Oh, Captain America. That's what Whatever. Coach Ari called you. Mm -hmm. That's correct. I was wrong. Yep. And I mean, it's, it's awesome. Do we have any other sports news that we're supposed to be talking about? Because, like, my gosh, there was a lot going on. Oh, wait, I yes, want to talk wait, about, wait, what is it? Wait, good luck today to the Lady Bomber volleyball team as they take on Greenwood at home beginning at 430. Oh, we may have to show up. I think up. we're going to have to show up and show out. I wonder what the. I wonder what we're supposed to wear. What's our What's our theme? What's for our the theme for the section? Yeah, that's right. I don't know. But, hey, be talking out in the hallways because we'll figure it out. But I also want to say congratulations to our right cross-country winners and thing. runners yesterday. Y'all right. had a great meet. I don't know what that means. Are we still alive? Yes, yeah, sorry. I'm just talking. Could you, like, listen to okay, me? Okay, I'm ready. What? Okay. And then I want to give a shout-out mm -hmm. to Sarah Godfrey and um, Macy Heidi and Christiana Sabri for, you know, sometimes we get – we don't have circumstances that we can control, and I want to congratulate the tennis teams for doing such a great job at State this week. We got volleyball this week. We had a cross-country meet yesterday. Mm -hmm. I just feel like the uh, whole attitude in our school is super. It's the culture. It is our culture. And, I mean, without us being here. We're bleeding blue and gold, baby. We are. There blue it is. Blue and gold. That's right. Mm -hmm. Blue and gold. Mm -hmm. And so, also... Uh, one last announcement because I have to do her lunch duty because she's going to do mine next week. And make sure you keep mm -hmm. those masks up. Mm -hmm. I want those nose covered, mm -hmm. those mouths covered, mm -hmm. and I want those ID badges on. And you guys keep being the greatest bunch of students that any 5A yeah, school could have. Are you ready to our cheer? Yeah, yeah. Okay, did we say enough? Oh, wait, I had one more in my paper because I had to do some highlighting. Brody, I didn't realize you were such a talker. Oh, my gosh. Hey, Jack Sheener, great job. You were perfect. Seven for seven pats. Yeah. Oh, I think that's point after touchdown is what I was supposed to say. I really know that. I love football. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, it's time for our bomb and cheer, boys and girls. Are y'all ready? Yeah. Are you yeah. ready, Bryce? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Go, Go Bombers! My voice is kind of hoarse.